Yo, dudes and dudes, Die Harvesting here, and welcome back to Pokemon Dawn. And I know it's been a while since I've actually done a, uh, a video on this. Apologies for that, been kind of busy, and also got kind of sick as well with a fever and some throat infection as well, so that wasn't fun. Uh, but yeah, now I'm all better and everything, so I might as well get into this uh, this part. I don't know if there's going to be like a, maybe a final boss battle here yet. I think the game's too early to end soon. Like, I mean, come on. Like, it, it, there's just got to be like an epic battle beforehand. Alright, so we are near the, the chairman? Yeah, that's, that's definitely the chairman. Uh, I don't know if he's dead or not, though. He looks pretty pale, so he probably is dead. Can we do anything with these computers? Nope. Alright. Like always, uh, Drake's not really a computer guy. He just doesn't give a shit. Alright, let's go talk to the guy. If he's dead or not. Oh, okay, apparently he's alive. Oh my goodness, I didn't expect anyone to come here. I almost thought that the running ones would come up here. Yeah, well, I didn't expect some fat guy with a bald head up here. Seems like we both got disappointed. And there we go, we got Drake being a badass as always. Wait, what? Are you... Are you are not sent from any rescue unit? What, do I look official? Uh, no. Then I'm not a guy from the rescue unit. Listen here, I didn't come here for you. I need something to get out of the city. To, uh, get out of this city? Uh, oh, you mean the Saffron City? Uh, to escape from this apocalypse, huh? Yeah. Well, what about the official entrances of, uh, Saffron City? Well, the south entrance to Vermilion City is open, but the apocalypse has spread there as well. Oh my! But what's with the ship? Uh, could we use the ship, the SSN? Uh, dude, you do not want to use that. that. <laughs> Trust me. <sighs> you get triggered every time. <laughs> no, the whole crew is dead. I killed every one of those motherfuckers. We can't move that ship. And before you ask, even the way to Lavender Town is unaccessible. The ground got teared apart. Yeah, that's sad, man. I really wanted to visit that place. Oh, well, I think the Giglet's Cave did this. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, the Diglets dig uh, uh, themselves deep in the ground every time they get nervous or something. And that's the reason why light earth tremors happen. But back then, when I was a kid, I used to play around in the Diglets Cave, and that's why I know this. Right, I thought it was just typical, you know, common sense, but right? What? But the Diglets Cave is blocked by rubble. There is no way through. Oh, wait a minute, you, you say it's blocked, you say? Hmm, well, I think I got something to do with it. He's got a drill or something? That'd be great. Yes, we developed something. A pretty new impulse device. Our scientists made this. But it's still a prototype, and I still got it with me because it's as valuable as the Master Ball. It would be possible to get rid of the trouble. Or the rubble. <sighs> well, finally, someone with a good solution that might finally work. Give this device to me. Uh, y yes. No problem. But firstly, I want to get out of this building and find some safe place. Do you, do you understand, right? Yeah, I see. I'll take you to the office building and then give you... And then... No. Then you give me that impulse device, okay? I gotta warm up, man. There are a lot of other survivors in the office building. Oh, yes. Well, it sounds very interesting. My name is Martin, by the way. I am the CEO of this Silph Co. I knew it. Yeah, well, now follow. I don't want to hang around here any longer, as much as you do. Alrighty. Hey, Martin to joined the party. This is gonna be fun. And I got like 7 HP out of like 30. That, this, this, is, this is gonna be fun, man. Like, I'm pretty much fucking dying here, man. I got only one antidote, and that's it. No potions, no berries, no nothing. And I bet you I'm gonna have to like, basically secure this dude. This is gonna be fun. Alright, I'm going to save my game before I get out of here, because, uh, yeah, this is going to be... This is, I swear, we could have just used the elevator, man. Like, this guy's the CEO. Can he not use the... Oh, it's just out of order. Well, never fucking mind that, then. Alright, let's get out of here in this section. It's very quiet in this part of the game. Very ominous. And, alright, let's get ready for some battles. No? No battles? Huh, interesting. Alright, apparently there's no battles to be fought. I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. Alright, what am I doing? Oh, it's over here. 
Wait, can we go to the um, what's his name? Blue. I really want to like try and like uh get Blue to escape, but uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the game just left that as an Easter egg from like the previous game, so there's not much you can do about that. Yeah, this guy here. This is from like Pokemon Nightmare Invasion, man. So cool. I love how they uh, connected the game out of this. But yeah, you can't do much against this guy. He's forever locked away as an Easter egg. It would be insane though to find him as a like a I don't know an Easter egg boss battle or something. I bet you would be difficult as fuck to kill though. All right, let's get out of this area, and of course, what the hell? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. My computer is going very slow. What the fuck's going on, man? All right, I'm getting out of there, man. Jesus Christ, I was about to die. The game was just freezing up on me, man. What the hell was going on? <sighs> well, what's going on here? Wait, the old guy is dead? Myra, what's up? What's wrong with Charles? Hey, Drake. Charles. He was... He was murdered. Murdered? What the hell? What the hell happened here? It was Henry. That son of a bitch. I knew I should have killed him. He and Charles were in an argument. And then I saw Henry suddenly choking Charles. This was so horrifying. Nurse Joy confirmed that he was choked to death by Henry. <sighs> well, fucking shit. I should have known that he was dangerous. Aha, uh -huh, yes. It seems like we couldn't have saved his soul. And where is this Henry now? I, I don't know. He ran out. Hmm. I think he is hiding. You yeah, don't say. Who, who is this? Uh, it's just a CEO, you know. Uh, hello, I'm Martin. I'm the CEO from the Silk Co. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, he said that he can help us to get to uh, the Diglett's Cave. Wait, he said he can help us getting the Diglett's Cave free. Really? But I got some bad news, Drake. Alright, great. More bad news. The south entrance of Saffron City got locked. Richie just called me. What? No! Damn it! I think we should pay Charles our last respect. Let's talk later, Drake. Henry, Henry, Henry. If I find that guy, I'm gonna fucking kill him. What an asshole, man. He's just going around killing his own, like, comrades. In the zombie apocalypse, you're supposed to help each other, man. Not be fucking idiots. Alright, uh... I really can't help myself now? Great. This is great. No health packs, no nothing. I'm gonna fucking die soon, man. Oh, I think I could stay here for a while. Ah, at least I got some people around me I can talk with. What about the nerd guy? He's just... Yep, he's just sitting on the computer, as always. And then the karate guy. Ah, it's too bad our master isn't here. He would know what to do. Uh, well, this guy, uh, he's just saying the same thing as always. Uh, the dude without an arm. Hello, Drake. Everything is fine. I'm feeling a little dizzy due to blood loss, hey, like always. And this guy, hey Drake, what's up? I got some well-reserved Pokey-off drink. Yeah, can't drink that for some reason, even though we really need it. Hey Drake, everything all right? Take care. All right, cool. So talk to everybody. It's such a horror. It's a, wait, it's a, such a terrible thing, what human beings do to each other. Charles was just an old innocent man. We should have thrown Henry out after all. Charles would still be alive then. Yeah, well, we couldn't have known this. Regarding the south entrance of Saffron, why the hell is it locked? Well, Richie said that the entrance was locked from Saffron City. So that means it wasn't that ass Wyatt Lieutenant Surge. Huh? Wait, wait what do you mean? Never mind, long story. <laughs> Sabrina, the gym leader of Saffron City has some switch in her gym. That crazy bitch I just met recently? Tch, why does everyone try to make my life harder? Do you think I can easily enter the gym? Hmm, well, that's a good question. Sebastian said that it is impossible to hack the gym, but I don't know how to enter the lock gym either. Must be a door, like a fucking lock somewhere, I don't know. <sighs> well, we will see. Croc, let's go to the gym. I got Croc talking again, as always. All right, let's go over. We're, we're gonna have to fight some zombies, man. And then get the hell back out. 
This is impossible, man. How am I supposed to survive this? Alright, save my game one more time. I'm literally on like... <laughs> maybe like one HP left or something. Yeah, one HP left. This is like a... I don't know, like Dante Must Die like mission right here. Like the most difficult setting for like Devil May Cry. Any more zombies to kill? No? Alright, cool. Must be a way to open this. Great. What now? Fucking shit. Huh? I bet so Yeah, Serena must be inside there, man. I mean, who else would unlock it? Seems like someone else is expecting us. Alright, let's go in. I like the music. Wait, this is the music from Pokemon X? Yeah, definitely from Pokemon X and Y. Ah, oh, great. Now we have to do this stupid puzzle thing again. Like, this was the most annoying part of uh, Pokemon Red. Oh, one of the most difficult parts, anyway. I don't really mind fighting, like, the uh, trainers, but there's no trainers here to fight, so... Pick us this way? Nope. Alright, go back. I know it's one of these. Ah, uh, damn it. Alright, never mind. Uh, maybe it's over here. No, one down. Alright, definitely not over here. This is going to be a while. Alright, finally. Jesus Christ, that was annoying. They changed the pattern a little bit. It's not like Pokemon Red and Blue. Alright, so I hope that we don't have to fight her because I'm literally dying, man. I had to see it with my own eyes, but I still can't believe it. I don't know what kind of voice I gave her last time. What the hell are you talking about? About the fact that you are still alive. Huh? You are starting with that shit again? What does it actually mean? And how do you know that Giovanni is my father? Hmm. I won't tell you. Wait. I won't tell it to an amateur like you. I have to make things right. And what does that mean? Do you want to challenge me? Exactly. I have to get rid of you before you cause more damage. Ah, oh, great. I knew I had to fight her, man. This is impossible, man. How am I supposed to beat her? It's about time, Alakazam. Alakazam. I don't know. Does that have to do his voice? Okay, Croc. Show her your real power. Oh, great. I'm gonna die in one hit, man. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Great. Thanks, man. Fucking died one hit. This is gonna be fun. One eternity later. Alright, so I finally managed to beat this fucking boss. I swear, that was, that was annoying, man. That was absolutely annoying. Alright, let's see what happens next. This can't be true. You don't deserve this victory. Especially because you two aren't supposed to be here. Yeah, whatever. You lost this battle. And I want fucking answers. How do you know me? Answers? Pfft. Alright. If you really want to know what I saw... Alright, so the plot's gonna thicken. Like I said, you are not supposed to be alive anymore. I saw you in my vision in Vermilion City. You came off the ship? What, is this like some other dimension or something? But something else happened. You woke up earlier on the SSN, somehow. That's why you could join this boy that you have met on the ship. The timeline has changed so drastically that you are actually here now. Do you understand? It can't let it happen. Wait, I can't let it happen that our timeline gets wrong. That's why I wanted you to prevent you to proceed. Wait, I wanted you to prevent you to proceed. Okay, spelling incorrect there. But... It's like someone manipulated the time. It's a bit strange. 
So someone's messing around with like dimensions or something? I have no idea. <laughs> and you really think that I believe this bullshit? I heard a lot of weird stuff, but your story is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Believe it or not, but I know what I saw. I'm never wrong with such things. <laughs> and now open the south entrance to Vermilion City. Chop chop, I still have things to do. Okay, very well. The entrance is open now. Or oh, open again. Are you satisfied now? <laughs> I could kill her or I could apparently do nothing or just say not yet. I'm gonna say not yet. Get your poke well, Pokemon back into the Pokeball. I don't understand why they call it Poke on. It's a bit weird. It seems to be exhausted. He actually cares about it. Alright. Yes, you are right. Alakazam, come back and rest. Alakazam. Alright, there we go. Okay. Now let's get out. Is it going to let me move? Alright, there we go. Now, that was one exhausting battle. I'll tell you right now. Alright, so... So what do you want? Ah, okay, she's not going to say anything else. Alright, so long story short, I literally had to go and replay the whole game from scratch. So I had to start the new game, and I had to play it all the way through to the end. And now trying to get out of here is going to be a hassle as well. But yeah, literally, I had to play the game from the beginning, and I had to basically play the game as strategically as possible. That self co CEO has the impulse device. Let's get it. I hope I'll find you soon, father. Uh, he actually cares about his dad. But yeah, like, uh, literally, I had to play the game as thoroughly as possible just to get to this part with berries and with HP up and everything. It was insane. Alright, something's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen. Hmm? Did you all wait for me or what? Why is everyone so serious? Wait, what's wrong? The fuck? Come on! Let it out! Okay, I think I'll start first. Drake! Richie just called us. He said he recognized you. Recognized you as a criminal. Huh? He found a profile of you in his documents. You are a Pokemon thief. And a member of Team Rocket. You are even the son of the infamous Giovanni. I swear I told her already. So, you finally found out. Yeah. It is true. But I'm no goddamn member of Team Rocket. Still, why didn't you tell us? Hey, people, listen. I always wanted the best for you, even if I don't want to admit it. I took every danger on my back to help you in any way. I cleaned up the city, and I killed those undead and went through this underground cemetery. Fought those damn Ariados that caused us a lot of trouble. Check the tracks where... Wait, track the, check the tracks where the train was supposed to be. Martin, I saved you and brought you here to the safe house. Yes, you're, you're right, you're right. I owe you one. And I helped you to reach Saffron City. I risked my life for you so everyone can make it through. He's got a point? Th that's true. Yes, you're absolutely right. He proved that he is on our side. Even if you weren't always nice to us, you are right. And I have to thank you. I wouldn't be here if there wasn't you. No problem. I'm glad you understand. And uh, he brought us the key to unlock the soda machine. Yeah, and <laughs> Yeah, sure. Uh, we weren't able to open it without Drake. The only decision I regret is that I couldn't save that old nice man, Charles. I could save saved him. And about the allegation. Yes, I stole one single Pokemon. It is my Totodile that you see here. I didn't steal it from a trainer. I got it from the Pokemon lab. I needed it to find someone. I'm searching for my father, Giovanni, in Viridian City. I have to know what happened to him. I see. I'm starting to understand now. Drake, it was wrong from you to pull the wool over our eyes. But you had a reason though, and the reason that we c wouldn't lose the faith in you. I'm so glad that you told us everything. I think you 
you can we all what okay there's some uh grammar issues here again i think we can all want you to stay here i know thank you but i have to move forward and we all respect that thanks myra you are a good guy with a hard shell but a soft core and i like that all right come to me if you want the impulse device okay <sighs> All right, so I think I'm gonna call it quits here, man, because like, yeah, that was a, uh, that was one hell of a battle, man. Like Sabrina's uh, Alakazam really knocked me down, even with full health, I still got my ass handed to me. But uh, yeah, I guess I might as well heal next uh, episode. Uh, but yeah, like it's crazy. Now apparently everyone knows that I'm part of uh, Team Rocket. Well, my father's part of Team Rocket and all that jazz. But um, yeah, it's about time he actually told the truth to everybody. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Sorry for like the delay. I'll get uh, onto these videos as, as, as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, as always, smell you guys later. Bye.